Hello everybody, welcome to Dan Amots. My name's Adam and today I've got for you a 2014 Sterling Elite Searcher twin axle caravan. It's four berth, we've got French bed, we've got loads of storage, um, we've got loads of extras, we've got a solar panel on the roof. Um, it's a really, really nicely presented and well looked after caravan. So let's have a look at what we've got. You've got a nice big locker at the front, room for two gas bottles, loads of storage in there as well. We've got your Alco ATC. Moving round onto this side, you've got the vent for your Aldi heating, so you've got your wet central heating system on this one, external shower point, your water fill points there, and this is where your leisure battery will live in there. Alloy wheels, you can see, and we've got twin motor movers. You've got your fridge and freezer vents there. Round onto the back corner, you've got where you put your toilet chemical and your toilet cassette lives just in there as well. Round onto the near side, the passenger side. You've got awning rail which goes all the way around, awning light at the top as well. Storage locker, this is underneath your French bed which we'll see from the inside in a minute. You've got spare wheel and your table stowed under there as well. Again you can see your alloys and your motor mover. Down towards the front we've got the split door, I'll show you when we open it. And we have an external mains socket there for in your awning or outside. Further access to your storage from underneath the front bench and we have an external barbecue point there as well. So let's go on in and have a look inside. But before we do, your door, we've got your split barn door. Um, oh, your bin, that's clever. Um, and on the door, you also have your fly screen as well. So come on in, down to the front lounge area. Loads of light coming in. We've got loads of storage. So th this is your predominantly your lounge area and then it does pull out to make a double bed so your slats pull all the way out to the end use your cushions they all drop in literally takes a couple of minutes to make yourself a nice generous size double as well mm -hmm. we've got loads of storage you've got your control unit in here as well and that's where your radio is as well more storage there same on the other side plenty of storage space we've got blinds and fly screens on all your windows with your curtains We've got power points at the front. So you've got your main sockets, we've got light switch. We've got aerial point there as well. So you want a TV at the front, you can. You've got your occasional table, which pulls out. Plenty of drawer storage all the way down. And then underneath this side is where we saw from out there. So that's your locker storage. And then under this side, this is where you've got uh, your water tanks and all that kind of stuff under there. Down into your kitchen, you've got your kitchen extension, nice generous size sink. We've got extra plug sockets there for your kettle, toaster, anything you might need. You've got three ring gas hob and one electric plate. We've got separate grill, separate oven and storage all the way around. Nice deep drawers and these just, they're on little runners, they come all the way out. Same there, you've got your cutlery drawer and one more drawer, just there you've got two plenty of room. Up above we've got your plate rack in there, you've got your microwave and then more storage in there. In this one as well we do have the, the regulator for your solar panel which is on the roof. And mm -hmm. uh, just to finish the kitchen off before we spin around the other side we've got your tall fridge and freezer compartment there as well. It's your Dometic three-way fridge, you've got your travel mode, you've got gas and you've got electric on this as well. Spinning over to this side, you've got your main control panel for your van, and then we've got the control panel for your Aldi heating as well. We've got smoke alarm and carbon monoxide alarm, and we've got big surface space as well, so there's plenty of room in here. More storage at the top. All this is storage underneath as well. We'll open so you can see. And quite deep shelving. Um, up here we've got more storage. TV point there as well because your bracket is underneath here. I'll just do this so you can see it comes down so you can TV this way or you can TV the other way as well. You've got your power socket there and then your blind just pulls down so if you want it that way or the other way. 
moving down into the back of the caravan you can separate this off so if you've got guests in the front you've got the screen which pulls across so you can keep it private in the back if you wanted to we've got your French bed with loads more storage above Underneath your French bed, it does just lift up, so lift the duvet, grab a hand on there, it just literally pops up. Here's your freestanding table that I pointed out from the outside, so you can use that inside at the